Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to talk about a very important program for us, our um, pregnancy and postpartum um, program, which includes our doula, community doula program. So we are going to be bringing to you every other week, a series of webinars. Um, we would love for you to continue to join us throughout the entire series. It will go through June. And um, we're gonna talk about the different aspects of pregnancy, um, childbirth and postpartum. And we will be, be bringing in professionals um, to talk about these areas from Sussex County and Delaware. Um, today, however, we're gonna just start out with the basics. We're gonna talk about what is a doula. So we are from the Parent Information Center of Delaware. You may be familiar with us through our work with schools, with families, um, with children with um, special needs. So our mission in our organization is to advance effective parent engagement in education. And our vision is for all children to fulfill their potential to succeed. What we know is that <clears throat> we um, are reminded of the quality of a child's education depends upon the ability of parents and caregivers to locate, understand, and utilize information that empowers them to be their children's advocate. And this journey starts in pregnancy. So there is no you know, magic time if parents are also empowered, given information, choice during pregnancy, birth, and postpartum, they bond better with their children, they have better outcomes themselves, and they avoid some unnecessary uh, medical complications. What does a doula do? So doulas provide continuous support and reassurance to birthing persons, and they support their partners um, and families. So doulas are not medical professionals. We are not midwives. We provide support, comfort, um, we provide information, we provide um, techniques, massage, aromatherapy, different techniques that will help through the pregnancy, um, birth, and then postpartum. We also provide uh, breastfeeding support and other supports, um, but we are not uh, doing medical exams or doing um, medical treatments. So um, one of the books that I love as a doula is called Nurture. And um, we're going to watch the author of that book talk about her experience as a doula and why she wrote the book. keep moving are kind of two words I always lean into. It's so hard to be in the world right now for so many people and keeping moving or staying in that space really has been the thing I keep kind of coming back to. I think one of the biggest stigmas that we face as women is that we're fragile and that we have too much variability. We need to realize that women don't have to operate like men. We have a different set of innate skills that are more adaptable. And I feel that our flexibility is not a detraction. It's actually a superpower in a way. That's really what I want people to kind of be more aware of. Doulas have 
various ways that they can work with people. A doula can provide birth support, so working with someone through their pregnancy and as they deliver their baby. They can also provide postpartum support, so working with them after they've had their baby for the first, say, eight, 10 weeks or so. They can also provide support for loss around reproductive experiences like miscarriages, stillbirths, or abortions. Women and pregnant people need food, a very specific kind of nutritional support during those experiences. And so I was able to work with people through their pregnancies, make food for them, be with them after they had their babies postpartum and help them kind of recuperate. Yum. What was interesting when I started doing the work was that it didn't feel like work. And that really resonated. I was like, oh, this is what it's like when you found something that you love. You can just lean into it. You can do it every single day and you're not bothered by it. Birth is a moment. We spend so much time in our culture focusing on the birth and what's the birth going to be like. When what we need to really be thinking about is what happens after the birth. How do we support this new parent as or new mother as they're moving through a very challenging first year? Birth is going to happen, whether it's a home birth, a hospital birth, medicated, unmedicated, cesarean birth, your baby's going to arrive. But what do we do to keep you intact after that? And I think that's where our country does a pretty poor job is in that postpartum shift. Doulas are there to create what has been lost in our culture. We move through these big life transitions without any continuous support. And doulas are, in a sense, kind of recreating that village for people as they move through any of those experiences. Serena Williams and even Beyonce recently both talked about how challenging their childbirth experiences were. And that in itself, to me, is the first step to education. So I wanted you to see that video and see um, from the perspective of a doula, um, how um, they support, how we support. And um, she is also an author of a uh, wonderful book called Nurture, which I um, highly recommend. Um, so, and let me um, pull this up. I want to um, just talk specifically about some of the supports that are um, available. So why support uh, women prenatally or birthing people prenatally? Well, we know that it improves childbirth outcomes, um, increases care quality and um, has cost savings as well because um, there's less of a likelihood of a cesarean delivery, prematurity and illness in newborns. Also, there is, uh, it lessens the likelihood of postpartum depression. Um, doulas also improve the overall satisfaction with the experience of childbirth and increases breastfeeding initiation and, and duration. Um, so doulas are uh, pregnancy and childbirth, postpartum, there are also doulas that work in fertility. So if you um, are trying to get pregnant and um, ha are having difficulties, there are doulas that specialize in loss. So um, miscarriage, um, stillbirth, um, you know, all, a whole range. There are also doulas that uh, support adoption and there are doulas that uh, support end of life. So um, doulas, um, the name means servants, um, and some people do not like the name. Um, they would prefer birth workers, which um, can also refer to, a doula can also be referred to. Um, but these are people that support um, women, generally women, men, birthing people, um, or people throughout their lifespan. So um, postpartum, it, a doula, having a doula postpartum can help uh, decrease fatigue, tiredness, and pain. 
increase the rates of breastfeeding initiation and longevity, improve parent-child attachment and bonding, um, decrease postpartum depression, and increase parent advocacy and provide families with medical and mental health resources for themselves and their children. So this is where it also connects with what PIC does um, and has done for the last 36 years, which is to help parents uh, and families, community members, um, advocate for their children, for themselves, um, to make sure that their children have the best education um, and the best supports that they need. So to kind of summarize, a doula provides education about childbirth and newborn care. They provide continuous support to a birthing person before, during, and after birth. And they help identify birth preferences and advocate with care providers. So, you know, if you have a preference to breastfeed, if you have a preference for um, a, um, you know, um, a home birth or a uh, birth at a birthing center or um, all kinds of a birth with an epidural, without an epidural, um, all kinds of choices, um, the doula will bring you the information and help you figure out what you are comfortable with. So um, as I said, this is a part of our continuing series. Um, and we will be having additional webinars. Um, the next one in two weeks is cultural and religious influences on childbirth. And then every two weeks, we will continue to talk about um, different aspects of pregnancy and postpartum care. We hope that you will join us um, and um, support this program. We also have a doula um, cert certification program, our community doula program. So if you are interested in becoming a doula um, or you are interested in potentially having a doula support you in your birth, please feel free to contact us. Um, you can uh, check us out on our website at pickofdell.org. You can also um, call us at 302-999-7394 or you can email us at pickofdell at pickofdell.org. Thank you so much.